Eh. Eh. Ah, yes. That is in fact a human being you're looking at. I know, I know. I was confused too at first. I thought it was a potato made of silicone. But in fact, it's human. And if you're not familiar with what that creature is, that is called Trasha Potatus. Or Trish... Trisha... Trisha... Pa Trisha Patus? I, I don't know. Something like that. Could it be that I'm body shaming? Could it be that I'm being too cruel? No, in fact, she's actually a terrible garbage human being, and most of you probably already know this already, but I'm bothered enough, and I've been sitting on this idea long enough, that I just wanted to showcase and highlight some of the garbage that's come from this creature. She's generally just as bad as J Station or NNA Productions. Nay, worse. Yes, she's worst. Uh, to start, she's actually quite racist. Fuck all that. Lately I've been going through a little bit of an identity crisis. I really never struggled with an identity before, like knowing my identity and knew who I was. I'm a Caucasian woman, single 29. But lately I'm starting to question that and a lot of people have always questioned this since I was a young girl. From, I remember being like 14, people always asking me like what ethnicity I am, if I'm mixed with something, like you can't be white. I said no, most of my parents are white. And I've always kind of just stuck by that story until lately. I don't know what I am anymore so everyone from day one like when you look at me as like a little girl like obviously my hair is crimped right now but I have really really coarse textured hair that a lot of Caucasians don't have and as like a kid growing up like I used to have a lot of hair with no extensions or bleach or anything I had a lot of hair and it was really textured and like coarse and like I always got made fun of it I went to a mostly Caucasian school yep you heard that right she is actually claiming to be a person of color because her hair is fried and it always has been but hold on, there's more. This inflated condom has more to say. I'm tired of being a boring ass white person. Like white people are boring, they just are, whatever. Like I, whatever. Like I identify as a white person, I feel like that's how I was born, but I'm not quite sure. So anyways, so yeah, and I've always been like curvy and thick. Not that it really matters, but just the structure of my body, even before lipo and butt injections and all that stuff like that. The structure of my body was just that of a like, I know this this video is going to come across as a lot of stereotypes, but this is just what people have been telling me, and my body type has always been that of, you know, a thick... So yes, she basically wants to console command herself into a race change Skyrim style because she claims that white people are in fact boring. Not to mention that she openly acknowledges a uh, stereotypical ideology of what uh, women of color should look like and do look like because that's clearly her opinion even though everybody comes in different shapes and sizes and some balloons like her are inflated more than others uh it's still not right to say so anyways i don't know you guys i'm so i don't know how to go about finding this out or finding out more information like without being weird and creepy and also disrespect i don't want to be disrespectful for my family because they did raise me but like if i am black like i would like to know i think that'd be really crazy like who knows like i could be related to michael jackson like you know what i mean like just like so in the small glimpse of hope and her weird twisted reality she's hoping that her ancestry results will pop up to the like ah fuck and 0.3 percent black and you know And then she's going to be black because of it, perhaps related to the dead Michael Jackson. Because, you know, Trisha Paytas loves to whore out the dead for her own selfish needs. Oh, but wait, she's the victim, right? Remember Etika? So does Trisha. But Ma, if everyone makes mistakes, her identity confusion doesn't make her racist. But oh, in the fashion of as seen on TV products, but wait, there's even more. Coming straight from the underground, a young nigga got a bag cause I'm brown. What is happening in China? Are the Chinese mating us because I do not need World War 3 or 4 happening right now. Like, I swear, we do not need more China. Searching my car, looking for the product, thinking every nigga is selling narcotics. Real country ass nigga, let me play with his rifle, pussy put his ass to sleep, now he caught in my knuckle. Now, is singing along to a song that says the n-word wrong? It's kind of a gray area, and I say this only because I'm also a fan of NWA and other rap, and do you, should you go around everywhere you go do, do, using that as an excuse to use the N-word? No. If you're like, I don't know, in your house jamming out or whatever, you're singing along to a song, whatever. Do you post this kind of shit to social media, probably acknowledging that you're being openly racist and getting away with it, because that wasn't even just an NWA song, there's some other shit too. So it's like regardless of the song content, is disgusting and wrong. And she's basically showing time and time again that she doesn't give a shit what color you are, what race you are, uh, 
what fucking gender you are, what anything. She does not care. She only cares about herself. And Bados, it's Trishy! That's right, Japanese pop star Trishy! Ah! Proudly blasting key slurs from lyrics uh, on social media is absolutely appalling. <laughs> And it's wrong on so many, so many levels. But she does it very proudly. So proudly, in fact, that she's sure she can just get away with anything. And, uh, guess what? Um, no. No one likes that shit. She's also generally disgusting. It, yeah, she's like a walking episode of Botched. That's Cool Whip. That's fucking Cool Whip. Mind you, she looks like a low-budget stripper who was attacked by a swarm of bees. The amount of silicone in this woman's body could arm an empire with dildos. I feel she's not worried about weight or health, though, because she feels that she could just cut shit off and fill it with some more silicone, I guess. So, I mean, hey, whatever then, right? And before I continue, there's actually something I would like to bring some more awareness to that Trisha also exploited, and it's dissociative identity disorder some of its DID. It was formerly known as multiple personality disorder, and rising awareness of this, um... Excuse me, I don't want to call it an illness, but this condition is, you know, it, well, it's on the rise. And I guess she dated someone who had it, so she decided to, uh, you know, cash in on that too by pretending she has it in the most mediocre fashion I could fucking ever witness in my life. Truly, this trash potato here is stricken with the condition, and clearly not attention-seeking at all. Based on her impeccable knowledge of, you know, her altars and everything else in the world, clearly we're the ones victimizing this. Oh. Mm. Oh. People with a DID don't announce their transitions as if they're going into like Super Saiyan 2 mode or like evolving a fucking Pokemon. Uh, they also don't walk around going hungry randomly and be and behaving like a narcissistic fucking potato like she does um it's also quite convenient you know she sets up a camera just perfect and then you know keeps staring at repeatedly like the narcissistic pile of human waste that she is Her attention-seeking truly knows no bounds, apparently, but not only does this uh, snooky body double from Craigslist take advantage of other races, other genders, people with medical conditions, but also she takes a nice fat, wet dump on the LGBTQ community, and it's, you know, just as bad. Hey guys, what is up? Um, today I am going to be doing a video that might people might think is I'm trying to be offensive or I'm setting back like a movement or something like that. But no, Trasha, you can't set such a movement back per se, but you can't shit on the path in which it moves. And I like how in every video she owns it, like she's going to be insulting and disgusting, like she just rocks that shit as if it's something to be proud of. It's like, no. No, it's not. This isn't trolling. This is being a piece of garbage. And, um, 
And so I've always just kind of related to guys on that level and I've always just been attracted to guys but not straight guys. I've always been attracted to gay guys. So that's why I've like always thought I like maybe I'm a gay man. Actually, I believe what she's trying to say here is that she's a whore and she'll fuck anything that likes to try to crawl between that slimy cavern of treadless tires that resides between her legs. And then the final thing that kind of brings it full, I feel transgender almost, is I've always had penis envy. Also, again, she just likes as much D as possible. Ugh, yuck. Yeah, where I just... This sounds so crazy to say out loud, but like I just always thought my life would be easier if I had that part. I woke up this morning feeling like a chicken nugget. You guys, when you feel like a chicken nugget, you, you feel like not delicious. So remember when I said she isn't really human? Uh, yeah, apparently this is a thing and it's also monetized content. I woke up this morning with sadness and I don't blame anyone for my sadness. I think the sadness is something I was born with. It's also a better anti-drug ad than those deflated stoners or smashing an egg on a pan. Mind you, Trasha is no stranger to being gross in a sexual way. She apparently has an OnlyFans. I I've heard th about it, but... Really, she's easily findable on other adult sites because her attention-seeking knows no bounds, unfortunately, so not even our porn is sacred. It's early and I want breakfast, but I don't want to eat. I've also heard shit about her Twitter, too, so I'm gonna go ahead and give that just a look. I mean, I guess it can't be too bad, right? Like, potentially sensitive content. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, fucking. Oh, no. 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 God, no. Kill it. Kill it before it lays eggs. No. Oh. Oh, my God. Thought I was going to be blinded. Uh. I, I may have to sue for the erectile dysfunction that her Twitter caused me. Apparently her body type and her brain cells, or, well, the lack of her brain cells, is actually a type of fetish called bimbofication or bimbo fetish, which is... <laughs> and it's fitting. But, you know, I'm, I swear to God, I need to land a soap sponsor as quick as I can because watching disgusting individuals like this really just makes me feel dirty, and I swear to you, they don't make water hot enough in the shower. So with that, um, I'm gonna head out and try to cleanse myself, probably gouge my eyes out with a fucking ice pick or something of that nature. Uh, if you like what you saw, just go ahead and like and subscribe, and dislike if you dislike it, but not because you like dislike Trisha Paytas, uh, no one likes her. So, see ya.